everybody. Uh, welcome to another week of uh, Coach Dave Academy Lab Guide. Uh, I'm Andrew Rayo Largo from Aspar Team, and today we're going to do the lab here in the Road Atlanta uh, F4. Uh, perfect track for for this car. Uh, too fast, and uh, and amazing races will be here. So let's take a look how fast lap he is here. Let's go. Okay, so here we are about to start the lap here in Road Atlanta with the F4. The most complicated parts of the track is for me the side to one. First and second corner is one of the most tricky here. This first one and this third one. We're going downhill again. And another tricky corner here. It's a really fast corner. Be very careful with the curbs, even the inside and the outside. Back straight, long straight. The place where all the all the overtakes is gonna is gonna be made here. That ends in a chicane. Left, right. And gain a little bit more time here going this way. That's a lap here in Road Atlanta. Okay, so here we are in the in the main straight here in Road Atlanta. As, as I said before, uh, for me the most complicated part is the first sector, fast uh, first corner, and the the third corner is not the the second, the third right hander. It's a, a blind one. So take a look at these corners and practice because it's uh, they are the most tricky here in Road Atlanta. So for the first corner, we're gonna go. Um, uh, we're gonna use this extra, uh, this extra part here of the track, and we're gonna start breaking here in this corner. Just when we reach this end of the grass and the, when they go together, uh, grass and track, we're gonna start breaking. Light break is only for go uh, down gear one one gear down. Soon with the throttle, as, as you see here, we we go very soon with the throttle as we see the the car points to the inside we go flat out be very careful to not touch this uh, this first curve on the inside to go to make you uh, go wide and uh, there's a lot of accidents here on this exit part of the corner because if you touch a little bit the grass uh, you you're gonna go out so for the for the position of the car to the third corner I used to to see this structure here on the right, so that's my my turning point because uh, it's a blind corner, so you have to place the car in the in the most left of the of the track, left part of the track. So this is my point of of turning in. We're gonna place the car as as close as we can to the to this uh, curb here on the left. And as they as the curve ends, it's the turning point, the turning in point to the to the corner, to the blind corner. So we're gonna start turning in, and we have to go a little bit over the curb. Uh, be very careful because there's enough track really easy to do there, because it's a, as a blind corner. So you have to to practice the entry of this corner uh, to to. To be able to to go as fast as possible. So this next this next corner is completely flat out. Uh, you only have to to reach the perfect ra racing line. Uh, you will be no problem at all. It's flat out. And for this left hander here on the to the left, we're gonna see this big board here on the left to uh, to a reference of a uh, breaking point. And we're gonna place the car a little bit uh, over the curb. Not too much with with GT3s. We 
we used to to put the car a lot more on the over the curb but with the formula uh, you can uh, bottom the car there so you can lose time so um, just a little bit over the curb look for the for the big board here on the left to to a brake reference and um, as soon as we can uh, press the throttle as soon very soon be very careful to not go in too over this curb because it's too high so uh, the car is gonna be unstable and uh, I prefer in this exit uh, to not go in over the this big curve here because uh, the car is too low and you can bottom here as well and, and lose time with GT3s and other type of cars not open wheelers uh, you can go over it but uh, being very careful because there is a bump there at the end of the curve so for these cars for open wheels uh, I mean uh, prefer to go just a little bit not uh, not put in the middle of the car over the curve because it's gonna it's gonna bottom okay so for this right hander we're gonna take a look at this uh, three white lines there there is uh, three uh, bottom three lines here we have one here two here in the middle and third here so we're gonna break between the first one and the second one we go one one gear down we're gonna go to fourth gear start putting the car and as soon as we end the trial braking we go really progressive the the throttle and a hundred percent and be very careful to not go into white over this curve because it's gonna bottom the car and for this corner i used to do it by the feeling that i have with the car and with the speed that i carry to this corner but uh, it can be a, a reference as we reach this uh this light here on the on the right so as the as the light uh appears or ends to your screen it's one of the one of the breaking reference that i have but as i said it's a corner that i i feel when i have to break so it's it's complicated to, you have to practice a little bit a lot to to go too fast in this corner so avoid completely this uh, inside curve because it's too high as well so it's better to go a little bit wider and to go throttle really soon as you see here we end the trial breaking and we go too soon with the throttle and avoid completely the exit curb because again it's too high and the car is gonna it's gonna bottom this f4 is is a car that goes too low and and you can slide over the curb uh, bottoming so long and straight a lot of uh overtakings here that is gonna be in the races so careful in these parts and practice the the chicane going side by side to 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 practice not to to crash and and to go side by side and and go and race clean uh, that's all we we want to have on on races so as the breaking reference i use this white line here so I, we're gonna go three gears down we go down to third gear we can use a little bit of the exit of this curve and you have to find a place to put the car here on the inside to not um to not touch the the grass too much because there's a an off track here and a, a really big slowdown so uh, practice this entry of the corner because uh, it carries you a lot of speed uh, to go exit the the chicane and to to go to the to the finish line so be very careful here as i said so uh, really soon with the throttle again as you see we can start pressing the throttle really soon to make the car rotate and right now it's everything flat out completely flat out you can go up up gear to fourth going over the curve you can use all these curves because they are flat you, you use all this exit part and uh 
for the end part of the of the track if you want to gain a uh, couple of uh, tenths or, or or nearly a tenth uh, you can go cut a little bit more meters here going to the right and going flat out the last corner the, there's no problem with this car so we do a 20.9 okay guys so that's it uh, i hope you enjoyed this one uh, we we're gonna keep making lab guides every week and set up sessions so don't forget to follow us on youtube coach dev academy and see you in the next one so as, uh, as always uh, take care and see you on track bye bye